Welcome to Option Trades today. I'm Tony the Bat Batista, and it's July 25th, 2023. And let's see what the market's doing today and what we can come up with you today. Got a couple of earnings plays possibly to look at, but let's look at the market first. Emini S&Ps up $11.50. You just can't keep a spoo doggy down. You can see here Emini S&Ps uh, trading at or around recent highs, 96 for the day today. They're right there at 95.5. NASDAQ leading the group higher today. Uh, NASDAQ's been a little bit weaker as of late over the last couple of days. Russell up $7 and change, acting much like the NASDAQ. And the Dow, which has been the strongest of the group as of late, uh, up $44 too. Volatility, well, it's the same story every day, every week, every Tuesday and Thursday. Volatility goes down. It's only down by a few cents today, down around 15 to 20 cents. But as you can see on the right-hand side of this chart here, making new lows. Now, there are some stocks that we can take a look at that have relatively high IV rank that don't have earnings. But I'm going to take a look at an earnings trade today. I'm going to go into Microsoft. Microsoft, as you can see here, um, over the last five days, volatility is actually unchanged, maybe slightly lower. But look at the IV rank, almost 55, high IV rank. It has earnings after the market closes today. That's that little uh, bell sign with the greater than sign signifying that it's after the market closes. The one right underneath the telephone is telling you that the earnings are on the 26th and it's the less than sign, so it's coming out the 26th in the morning. We are looking at Microsoft um, IV percentile 72, up $3.69, trading near its highs of the day. I put this trade on just a few moments ago for earnings. I'm looking at the weekly options with three days to go. I'm breaking all the rules here. I usually would like to go out to September or August, but I'm gonna make a short-term play on direction. I'm actually playing uh, Netflix to the upside. What am I looking at? I'm looking at a $17 expected move over the next three days. And what I'm going to do here is, and what I like to do typically, is to take that $17 or that expected move, whatever it may be, and double it. First, I've got to come up with my assumption. My assumption is bullish. I think they're going to mention AI 18 million times on the conference call, and I think the stock is going to be up 10 to $15. Uh, dollars, but I'm going to go two times the expected move. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, $17 with the stock at 50 brings you right to about 367. I'm going to look to buy the 367 and a half call. That's the call I'm going to buy. Remember, I'm bullish. Usually, when I put on these ratio spreads, if I'm putting them on the call side, I'm bearish because I don't want any risk to the downside. But I've heard and listened to your comments on this podcast. And if you're watching us on YouTube or you're listening to this um, after the Tasty Trade broadcasting and you're watching it on tastylive.com, I have gotten your emails and saying, why don't you put these ratio spreads on in a shorter time frame and take advantage of the directional bias? Meaning, if you're bullish, put them on to the call side because that's where you have your max profit. I'm buying the 367 and a half call. I'm selling the 377 and a half call. Why did I pick these strikes? Well, I just told you that I went to about the expected move with my buy. I don't want to buy something that's too far out of the money or too close to the money with, with, with the expected move. I want to go to around the expected move. So I'm going to go to right to 367 and a half. I like to go as wide as possible as I can. I like to in a stock that's you know over $100, $200, $300. I like to go at least $10 wide, especially on a short dated three day trade like we have here. Also, it's just about two times the expected move. Two times the expected move would be $34. 17 plus 17 is 34. That brings us up to uh, 381. 377 is, is our sweet spot or the most I could make. I could make $1,000 on this trade. It is a hefty trade that uses almost $4,300 in buying power, but I'm only tying up that buy, buy, buying power for a day or three days to max. Okay, I can make almost $1,000 if the stock closes at expiration at 377 dollars Usually when I do a 
ratio spread, this is the time when I would say, but that's unreasonable to ask for because I'm usually putting these trades on with 45 days to go, not three days to go. Now, since this is a shorter term play, it's not unreasonable for the stock to be up 15, 17, 20 dollars. What would happen in that scenario? Well, my 367 call would be right at or in the money. My 377 and a half call would be just out of the money. And on the opening, this trade would probably be a small losing trade. Now, if the stock hangs out there at 370, 367, 365, by the end of the day, this trade should be a nice dollar or more profit. If the stock opens around 360, 362, I would expect on the opening that this trade would be a, a profit, probably that same profit of a dollar or so. And then I would look to keep this trade on, maybe buying a wing out of the money to make my buying power a little bit less. Now, on entry, if $4,200 is too much for your account, you certainly could go to any place outside of the expected move and reduce your buying power. Just for argument's sakes, I'm gonna pick an option here that actually gives me a debit, not a credit. I was able to put on this trade for a 44 cent credit. I was able to put on this trade when the stock was a little bit lower for a 44 cent credit. That's showing me right now that volatility might be contracting a little bit because the stock was only up around a buck and a half or two dollars when I placed this trade. You can see that this trade has negative deltas right now, but those will quickly flop to positive delta if the stock opens 367, 365 or below. It, remember, I'm doing it for a 44 cent profit, so it gives me a very high 94 percent pop. But once I buy this out of the money option, let's do that right here for you. I'll do the 405. It comes in at a five cent debit. You'll notice that my pop comes down to 16%. It becomes very low. Why? Because I can lose two or three cents, but soon as it quickly turns to a credit, and I'll hide that for you there. I mean, I'll, I'll close that there so it, so it stays at this number right here. You'll see it goes back to a 94 uh, percent pop. If I go up to a debit here, Let's move this for a debit. You'll notice it goes to a 16% pop because I'm locking in a two cent loss anywhere outside of 37 and a half and anywhere above 387 and a half. So the pop, again, is a very powerful thing to understand, but it should, you should know what your risk is on these trades. If you do it for a small credit, it's gonna show you a very high probability profit. Now this, the reason why I showed you this option here, and I'm gonna turn it back to a credit just so that the numbers look proper for you, um, is it reduces your buying power, cuts it in half or more, down to around $1,800 in buying power. Yes, you are giving up the 42 or 43 cents that you might pay for this 405 call, but you certainly makes it more of a trade where you're looking to you know, risk two to make one kind of thing if you get lucky and, and pin in three days Microsoft at 377 and a half. All right. I'm Tony Batista. I hope you enjoyed that earnings trade. I don't do a lot of them. So take that with a grain of salt. I'm probably rusty and this is going to be a loser. But you know what's not a loser? Opening up your account and moving it to Tasty Trade. Help us keep the lights on here and take advantage of some of the many offers they have for either opening, moving, transferring, or just saying hi to Tasty Trade and bring your account to us.